Hey guys, Ryan Knows Tech here at TechInform.us. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. The video for today, the 14th, is another request about the customization of a Mac. Lots of people argue that Macs are not customizable. PCs are much more customizable. And uh, 8 out of 10, I agree with that. Macs are not a very customizable operating system. So today we're in OS 10.6 point, the latest version. And uh, we're going to take a look at most of the basic things you can do with customization to make your Mac customized to you or to look a little bit different. Starting off the desktop background. Obviously it can be changed, very easy to change. Just navigate to uh, whatever kind of picture you want. We'll just change it to uh, about Los Angeles here. Just double click or right click on it to double tap on a Mac and set as your desktop background. Close that window at it. For some reason it takes about 10 seconds, but it does work. Uh, you can also go in here to system preferences and there's the wallpaper and then over here for desktop and screensaver you can come in here and uh, browse to different files there's the ones that come with the Mac how about that zebra well, that's a mock just some rocks if you like rocks <laughs> there it is so that's obviously a really easy way to customize your desktop obviously another way all of these folders are movable just like a PC you can change the color you can change what it says of course you can change the size um, that's obviously customizable. The dock, definitely one of the biggest things you can customize. Here's this, um, the finder icon. I can pick that up. Okay, bad example. Safari, you can pick that up. I think finder is stationary. But Safari, you can pick up, move it anywhere you want, drag it out. You don't want it anymore. Move it over here next to iTunes. You can make this dock as big and small as you want. You can have one icon in it. You can fill up the whole screen. You can move it to the left side of the screen, the right side. You can't put it on top. And then, of course, you can have it on the bottom. You can also adjust the magnification. To do this, click on the apple up there. Go to Dock. And then you can go to Dock Preferences. You can also navigate there from the System Preferences. Here's your size. Make it big or small. You can make it really small, but then you can't even see the icons. Magnification, that can be turned on or off. Then you can make it ridiculous. So when you go over it, you'd have to you know, have no eyes not to be able to read it. Or you can just turn it off like that and then you just get the little name over it. I like to keep that about there. So you can move it on the left. Uh, it actually went on my other monitor because that's on the left. On the right, kind of looks like that. Um, I've seen that on a couple people's videos. It, I just don't like it down there. Now, uh, the minimization effect, that's kind of cool. You can do uh, Genie or Scale. Here's what the scale looks like. It's kind of a more Windows approach, how it just scales down there. Or you can do the Mac approach, which is the Genie, is in it kind of goes down like that. If you want to see that slower, you can open it up, and I think it's Shift and then click it and it goes down super slowly. So that's kind of cool. If anybody didn't know that. Um, you got some options down here, nothing too big, but the dock's probably one of your most customizable things. As far as folders go, we can open up the documents folder here and notice if we want to change Final Cut Pro documents, we can go over here and give it a label orange. So now that's labeled in orange. That's a really nice way to, uh, to keep things organized. I just turn the labels off because I can read and I don't need to you know, things that important on here. So the customization of a Mac is, is really pretty limited. You really can't do much in terms of skins, at least not that is um, included with the operating systems. You can't, the operating system, you can go to appearance, and here you can change it to graphite instead of blue. Notice up here, it's just like the grayscale. It starts to look like iTunes. I don't like it. I definitely like the blue, which gives you your red uh, to close, as I just did by accident, and then your orange to minimize and, and green to expand when that's applicable. Um, you can also change the highlight color here, any color you want. Blue, to me, just looks good with the OS, but that can be changed to whatever you want. Scroll arrows, that's kind of cool. I don't know if Windows can, uh, can have this option. When you have a window open, for example, Safari, and you have a web page, for example, Yahoo, that will scroll on my uh, notoriously slow internet. Just a little side note there. Time Warner Internet, don't know where that is in the country. I know it's in where I am in northeastern Ohio. It's uh, absolutely the worst service that money can buy, so uh, it's not worth it. Why do I have it? Because they offer 7 meg. I usually get 0 .0 or 0, 0, .0 all the way to, I might get 1 or 2 megs sometimes. I mean, look, it's worthless. So, But if we can ever navigate to a, uh, a page that works, for example, here are some fog lights I'm looking to get for my car. You can either have these arrows down together at the bottom here, or you can have the one to go down at the bottom and the one to go up, up at the top. So, kind of nice, depending on what you're used to. Uh, I, I didn't really care, but you can adjust that. Um, the scroll bar here can be adjusted as well. Number of recent items, you can 
look at that and then font smoothing is always a good idea so that's worth it anyhow uh, you can download apps I think to do some more customization on Mac if you really want a operating system that is heavily customizable I would highly recommend Ubuntu Ubuntu you have uh, barrel and comp is whatever they're calling it these days you can uh, install that you have amazingly cool effects it's uh, some of them use a lot of GPU power, some of them don't, so it's really customizable. Really, in that aspect of it, Ubuntu is a great operating system. It's open source, it's small, it's free. It has the basic functionality that you need, although sometimes I feel it doesn't. Uh, that's coming up in the next video, probably. But uh, Mac OS, it, it just looks good. It's a very elegant, classy, sophisticated operating system. I'm not saying Windows isn't, but Windows is more customizable. However, I'm happy with OS X. I don't really think it needs a whole lot more customization. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Ryan knows tech, techinformed.us. That's our site. My uh, Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. And be sure to catch us live every Tuesday night from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Thanks, guys. Have a uh, great rest of your Thursday and good week, rest of the weekend, weekend. Bye.